This is a video of the Korg uh, wave station which I just purchased and uh, typical shipping when I when it arrived. I heard a, a rattle inside so I took it apart and found uh, one of the screws uh, loose. Uh, one of the circuit board down here. Uh, so I found, put it back in and cleaned it up a little bit. Make sure that there's nothing else wrong. Doesn't seem to be. It's a problem with shipping. You never know what happens or whoever previously worked on it. They knew what they were doing, so buttoned it all, make sure everything is connected tight. And, and for all those you ever need to change a battery, here's the battery. It's pretty easy. You don't have to just take the back cover off and just slip it out and replace it. It's a regular 2032 CR 2030. And here's the back panel. Just take the little screws you see, every single one of them, and then the cover slides forward and you just remove it and there you go just if, if you ever need to get into the battery uh, i'm glad that they don't have to pull out the board and get behind there and um, i see this has really old-fashioned uh, uh, made the boards they're not surface mount as you can see i've had older rollins uh, and they have surface mount technology but this still has the old-fashioned uh, diodes resistors which are huge compared to the surface mount makes it easier to change them this one's a little bent now Let's leave it alone yeah, if it's not broken don't fix it you can end up breaking the prongs uh, but as you can see uh, so this is what a wave station looks like on the back side this is an EX version and uh, after I get it all cleaned up and put back together and fired up to see how she works and then I'll make a video of that and see so what else can I tell you about it yeah, looks like a pretty decent machine Okay, enjoy. If, there's, if you have any other technical questions you'd like to know, just let me know.